Hello and welcome. My name is Sonu Nair and the task at hand today is letter of inquiry. Children, in the previous videos we had discussed the letter to the editor, letter of complaint, letter of request and today we will do letter of inquiry. As the term suggests, we write this letter to inquire about something. It could be written to an individual or an organization. Why do we write this letter? We write when we need more information about a product or a service. What kind of information do we seek? We might want information for a catalog, say a sports firm. We may want rates of some stationary items. We may be a librarian and we would seek a catalog of books for our library or a conducted tour has to be arranged and we wish to discuss terms and condition about it. As usual, the word limit is 120 to 150 words, marks 6, which is further divided into 1 plus 3 plus 2. One mark is for the format, three marks are for the content, and two marks are awarded for grammatical accuracy and expression. The format as any official or business letter would have in the left hand format block style we start with the sender's address in two and not more than three lines. This address is usually given in the question if not a fictitious address could be created followed by date name of the recipient. Here it would be the designation of the recipient in the form of the manager, it could be the proprietor or it could be the general manager, followed by name of the company, then the city. Subject again from the question itself, sir, the content divided into three to four paragraphs, the complimentary close yours faithfully, give the signature and the name usually given in the question along with the designation. Remember the word to, from, th um, thanking you, they all have become obsolete and are no longer used in official letters. Moving on to the content or the body of the letter, as usual, para 1, who am I and why am I writing? Since it is a letter of inquiry, it is possible that our interaction with the recipient of the letter is for the first time. So we need to give a reference of an advertisement we might have seen in the newspaper or it could be any other source of information. We need to express our keenness to know more about the firm, the product, or the services offered. If you represent a company, a school or an organization, it's always acceptable that you introduce yourself to the group you are interacting with. Also mention what inquiry you are going to make in that letter. Para 2 should have the queries, the questions you have in mind in the bulleted format. If you are not writing in the bullets, then you can frame simple questions in a paragraph. Para 3 holds the terms and conditions of the business arrangement that you are going to have. You can talk about the payment arrangements, any instruction that you would like to give, the discount that you may talk about, or any other kind of facility you wish to know about. Ensure that whatever questions you have put forth, you get a response for that. And that is possible 
only if you give a self-addressed envelope or an email address on which the recipient should write to you. Do not forget to conclude the letter with some kind of closing lines like I do hope you would consider all the points or make the candidate again aware that you are enclosing a self-addressed envelope. Followed by again yours faithfully the, uh, the name designation. Coming on to how a sample that has been generated how do you begin with? Children remember a simple formula of coder. C collect O organize D draft E edit and R revise. We are going to use these five steps in writing a letter. Here the subject is that a letter of inquiry has to be written seeking details about a course you are interested in. Before writing this letter, answer the following questions. How did you come to know about this course? What all you would like to know before joining the course? And finally, how will you ensure that you get your answers in time? The possible responses that I could think of are you must have come to know about this firm or organization or this institute from the newspaper or television or somebody known to you which is termed as by word of mouth. What do you want to know about the course? What is the duration of the course? What would be the timings? What is the fee structure? What kind of transportation facility is available for the prospective students? What kind of certification does the institute offer? Is there any hands-on experience given in the form of one computer, one candidate? How does the evaluation procedure continue? What is the strength of batches? What is the credibility of the faculty? Credibility of the faculty refers to uh, their qualification, experience. Also, do not forget to send an addressed envelope. This is the process that you take up while writing a sample of inquiry. So you collect all this information, you organize it into three to four paragraphs, draft it, give it a second read, a reading, revise and your letter is ready. Children, I have a sample now. Again, two lines, address, date, the director, name of the company, area, city, subject, inquiry regarding, regarding the short term course. Sir, ma'am, with reference to the advertisement published in the Times of India dated 15th February 2020 regarding the short term computer courses being offered by your institution. I am keen to join the course on animation. I am a class 12 student and waiting for my results to be announced. I wish to utilize this time well and make value addition to my credentials. However, before registering, I would like to know a few details regarding the course. So first paragraph has who am I, why am I writing, how I came to know about the course. Second paragraph, the questions, duration and timings, fee and mode of payment, transportation, is it a certified course, is hands-on experience given, what is the expected strength of batches. We conclude with the third paragraph. I am very keen to join the animation course and would like to register as soon as I have the information. I am enclosing a self-addressed envelope for a quick reply. Yours faithfully, name Rohit. I conclude with an assignment. You are Vishal, Veena, tour in charge of Kendre Vidyalaya, Green Park, New Delhi and you have to organize a short tour to Agra in Jaipur. You come across an advertisement in the Times of India issued by Globe Tours and Travels, New Delhi, about their conducted tours. You decide to write a letter to the director of the firm seeking more information about the tour duration, sightseeing, charges, etc. Write the letter. 
Uh, we expect that you write the sample letter as well as the assignment in your notebook. Till then, goodbye. God bless.